Well, good evening, friends. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Good evening, colleagues. I just wanted to give an update on what's befallen me since Monday, the 20th of, uh, I think it's the 21st or somewhere. I've forgotten the counts of the days. I was seated at my place. I was um, busy studying. When I received a call from my daughter, Shamin, and uh, she just said to me, Dad, there's been an accident. Mommy is not breathing, and uh, Shuleo is not okay. I stopped whatever I was doing, rushed into the car and drove to the corner of my house between the property and Greatest Road. And true to the, to the message, I found my daughter trying to pick up her siblings from the wreckage. I found my other daughter laying on the pavement. And I found my other my son uh, sleeping unconscious on the pavement. By the grace of God, we managed to pick up all of them and put them in the car. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, my daughter Shuleo, my son Shuleo, was hurt by the head. I don't know which side, I'm a little bit tired and uh, emotional. So we, we drove. I, I'm actually the one who picked them up from the accident. My wife was stuck in the car. I could not take her out from the car on time when the well wishes and helpers told me that you have to rush your son to the hospitals. So I quickly got into the car and I drove to Levy from uh, one kilometer from the checkpoint. That's where we live, waterfalls. And so I drove with my children in the back of the car who had just been involved in that fatal accident. I went and rushed through to Levy where I told my daughter not to come out until I got the body, the, the hurt body of my son from my hand. And uh, took the body inside and carried the doctors helped me to quickly lift my other son and daughter. Fishing the land up. I'm getting confused as I talk. <laughs> We went inside, put my son Shuleo on the bed. And when I put my son on the bed, on the stretcher, I noticed there was lifeless. But the doctors and everybody helped me very quickly to carry my child and other people through to the other place of to be attended to. And the short story that is very long can only be told that I had a dead son in my hands and I had a very injured, very, very injured wife on my side. I decided to concentrate on the living. I knew that my son was dead. And I concentrated on my wife who had just been brought in by a well-wisher. And Mane, it's very painful. Mm -hmm. It's it's very very painful. But who are we? We don't control anything. So I thought that I would give you an update. I don't know what you want to hear, but it's true. My family was involved in an accident. I was not in the car when the accident happened. I was attending class. Um, and so when the accident happened, I'm the one who rushed to the accident scene and picked up the, 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 the people that were involved in the accident, which were my children, all my whole, my, all, my whole family, five of my family members, my immediate family members, that's my wife and four children. And my son was already dead by the time I was picking him up and he was held by my, my, my daughter, Shamin, when I drove through and went to Levy. 
at Levi, I told the doctors not to touch my son. I prayed for my son and the Lord assured me that he had taken him. So I handed him over to the doctors to see if they could prepare him for burial. I have a very, very sick wife. She has a broken collarbone. She has um, three broken ribs and she has a punctured lung with a, a cracks on her pelvic. My wife is unable to move, but I thank God she's alive. It's been uh, six days of serious emotional sorrow for me. And what I've only learned over the last six days is that under people that know their God shall do great exploits. I don't know what exploits God is teaching me. I don't know what he wants me to do. You know, it's so painful that sometimes because you don't know what to do. I have kept my wife, kept my wife without telling her. For four days, my children were admitted in the hospital and at Levy, and we were torn apart. But I, let me say, I thank God for every one of your prayers. I was sent prayers on WhatsApp. People were praying for me. People are praying for my wife. A friend of mine sent me a prayer from Kitwe that uh, they were using to pray for me. And I thank you so much. I really thank you so much. I, th I can't mention names of people that sent us money to try and see if we could save the lives of those that were injured. As I talk to you tomorrow morning, I'm putting to rest my son, Shuleo, Mwinempanga, as we called him, Bojongo, four-year-old boy. He deserved to live longer, but God counted it better for him to live short. Very painful. Very, very painful. I don't know. You know, the covenant that I belong to, we don't bury young ones, but it happened to me. And so, I'm putting him to rest tomorrow at... Uh, Memorial Park, for those of you who are in Osaka, the funeral will be held at uh, Praise Christian Center along Greatest Road, the same road that claimed my, 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 my little boy. From that same road we are sending to the to rest. And uh, at nine hours, that's where we are meeting at PHI, Praise Christian Center. And then from there, we'll go to Memorial Park where we will put him to rest. And I'm very grateful. Let me now, this one, I can try not to be very emotional. I'm very grateful to every one of you for your prayers. Thank you so much for taking time to pray for me. It's not easy. It's, it's not easy to be where I am right now. This is not a good spot, Mantua Kualis. But I will keep on singing. And I'm just going outside i'm doing this in my funeral at the funeral so i'm going back to sing i want, just want to give him praise i don't know if it is praise or whatever but if it is sorrow shame for singing i want to sing it to him i want to tell him that i still love him i still appreciate him for what he has done for me i was supposed to be looking at uh, five caskets tomorrow but the jehovah that i save was faithful enough to save the other four. Let his name be glorified. Let alone his name be worshipped. And brethren, I envy your prayers for my beautiful wife. Take time for me. Please take time for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. And so Paul would say the same words. Pray for us. But now, I'm saying, please pray for me. It's not easy to be where we are. It's not easy. It's painful to be where we are. It, sh it is so painful. I never told my wife until today that she lost her son. Because she was very, very hurt. She was, she's been battered by this accident. So, 
This morning I gathered my energy and I told my wife, it's been the worst day of my life today. The accident itself was another day, but today was the worst day of my life to see a woman that is hopeless receiving such sad news. And I will tell her myself, to God be the glory, to God be the honor. I trust him for more, trust him for more. I give him the praise. He deserves the praise, he's a good God. I wish I could say any better words than that, but he's a good God. So brethren, I thought I should give you an update. I'm telling you that I'm burying my son tomorrow and we will, the church will be held at Press Christian Center and we'll be going to Memorial Park. I will come back and give you feedback on during the course of this week as we start tomorrow on how Jubilee is doing. Every so often I'll be coming back because I've got friends here who have stood with me, who have prayed for me, who have supported me financially. And to all my friends who feel like standing with me, please don't hesitate. If you feel on that, if you want, so we need every support. We need you to pray for us. We need you to send in every little help. My daughters in Canada have put up um, a way in which you can help donate for the healing of my wife. I'll be dealing with this very well once I bury my son. I will come back here and I'll be taking 15 minutes of every week to talk about the recovery of my wife. And I will share with you some photos that you can see on where we are at. Yeah, by the man didn't I but for now let me end here and say thank you. Jehovah God be gracious to all of us. Amen.